a ser serious deal right here. Bear with me. Oh, yeah. My first ever thousand dollar machine. Oh yeah, look at this. Look at this. I am so excited. I'll walk you through the machine uh, step by step. I'll uh, explain a little bit about it too. Man, I am just so excited about this. This is this is crazy. Got the instructions right here. Got everything I need to. The first thing I've I've uh, learned or, or read about this machine is I'm gonna have to charge the battery for about three hours. That way it will run the way it needs to. It takes a type C, if I'm not mistaken. All right. Man, I'm so excited about this. I, I cannot, this today's my off day, but I cannot wait to run this machine through some, uh, some fake skin. It does come with the charger on mine. I've heard that on uh, some people's, it doesn't come with a charger. But yeah, mine definitely comes with the charger. Um, man, I am freaking, I don't know how, ex this is like I got a, a new car or something. I, I've been wanting a good machine. Um, the machine that I've been working with, well, I've had two machines. I've had a FK Irons, Zion and I've had a Dragon Hawk mass flip. Uh, on the Zion, I couldn't change the stroke. You have to go in there and change the cam. From a, it's like a three point two to a three point seven. When I changed it to a three point, it was always a soft too too much of a soft machine on the um, FK Irons uh, Zion. But when I changed it to a three point seven stroke, it was decent but it was a good machine it was smooth the dragon hawk mass slip is not a smooth machine is high vibration um and what else oh but you can switch the strokes it has a, a switch where you can go through like four different strokes like 3.2 3.5, 3.7, and 4.0 stroke. This one is just a 4.0 stroke, but we're gonna talk more about it in more clips. I'm excited about my new machine. FK Irons Max Flux. I've heard good and bad things about it, but mostly good about it, especially for a long time, I heard good things about this machine. <clears throat> I got the uh, 4.0 stroke the four stroke um because i felt like a 3.7 or i mean sorry a 3.2 would be too uh soft look at that i got the two uh power bolts basically batteries they go with it oh yeah Oh, yeah. Super excited about this. This is really cool, man.
I'm just going to show y'all some um, quick tattoos that I've done with the new machine. Like um, some good blackout work, packing in black, um, some line work also, and some shading. Uh, so I'm going to show you a few tattoos I've already done so far with the new machine. And then I'm going to show you a quick run through on some face skin. Uh, just practicing on some face skin with the machine also. All right, I'm working on practice skin, but I want to talk about the max flux, the, the machine that I'm talking about today. Um, so I don't have it fully covered right here because I'm working on face skin. And plus if I get any ink or any kind of uh, residue or get it kind of dirty, I can always clean it on uh, the top of the machine. It would be different if I was working on a real person. So I'm gonna put that out there. Um, I will mention a couple of other machines, uh, like the, the Mass Flip which has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven different strokes. This is a good machine. Um, I was working with, just bear with me here for a second. So I have another FK Irons machine. It's the Zion. I can, I can speak about this because I've, I've used this and uh, I've also used uh, FK Iron Spectra. Um, so the Spectra and the Zion have a lot in common. They're lightweight machines. Um, they're smooth. Uh, but the only thing I can say, unlike the Spectra, which it seems to hit harder, the Zion hits softer. It's a 3.2 stroke, and then you can change it to a 3.7 3. stroke on the cams. They come with little cams sometimes, which um, I had to make that adjustment. It's a little cam. I think it usually says the stroke on there. Yeah, this is a 3.2 stroke, which was what came on this uh, this Zion, which was way too soft. But it was good for shading, but way too soft. Especially if I'm trying to like push some big line weight, uh, it just wasn't doing the job. But it was a smooth machine. But once you, you change it to a 3.7, it's got a, a better stroke for lines. Um, so this is a better quality machine than the Dragon Hawk, but it's softer. Now the Dragon Hawk is a rough machine, but it's versatile with the sh so many strokes. So that's one thing I do like about having so many different strokes because if I wanna 
like if I want to run um, a three liner or a five liner, I'd probably change it to a 3.8 stroke, like a softer stroke, and then just turn my speed down. Um, and if I want to do some like uh, line work with the shader or some, some really thick lines, like a 14 liner or 11 liner, um, a seven round shader, nine round shader, 14 round shader, I would probably hit it with the four point, uh, the four stroke. <clears throat> And once I learned that on the strokes and the speed, the volume, uh, it was pretty good. Started coming out better. So, and then I also want to mention one other machine. Um, I have, I have uh, practiced a little bit with a Bishop too. Another smooth machine. It's really smooth. I like it. Um, some of the Bishops can hit really hard. But I can't really speak a lot about Bishop because I've only like done one or two tattoos when I was practicing with uh, using somebody else's machine. But I liked it. <clears throat> I didn't have any problems with it. It was another smooth machine, just like this uh, FK Iron Zion and like the Spectra uh, and the Bishop. They're all smooth machines. This machine right here has a lot of vibration in it. It's the cheapest machine that I have. Um, that I've, that I've had and it was like, I think it cost me like $200, something like that. Um, I don't really like this machine too well. It's really rough, the vibration is bad. Uh, it starts to hurt your hand after a while. It's really heavy. This little machine right here is lightweight and you can't even feel that it's on. So that's one thing I like about my new machine. Uh, the only good thing I can say about this cheap machine is it has different strokes so you can do different things with it So that's another good thing. And then I want to mention the Vlad Vlad. There's a machine out there called the Vlad Vlad I think it's about six seven hundred dollars that also has Different strokes. I can't show it to you because I don't have it But it looks like a coil machine, but it's not it's a rotary machine that looks like a coil machine It's a hybrid machine uh, I want to try that one day. I've heard good things about it. It was like I was trying to uh, decide if I wanted to get the Vlad Vlad or the FK Irons or Bishop. I decided to go with the FK Irons um, Max Flux, but I was really leaning towards the Vlad Vlad because you can do a lot of different things with all those different strokes it comes with. So if I ever uh, purchase that machine, I'll let y'all know how it runs and give you a review on it. And as far as this machine, it's, it's amazing. It's got a great uh, screen. It costed me at least $1,400. Uh, you can get one for $1,100, but it costed me about, uh, it was $1,300, but it was like $1,400 with the insurance and stuff like that. So. I like to turn my volume up with thicker liners and shaders, thicker lines. I'm just going to run some uh, uh, thick lines right quick to show you how, how they are. It's really easy to get one pass lines with this machine. Right now I'm working on this little image right here. A traditional piece. And putting some lines in there. With smaller liners, I like to turn the volume down, make sure it's 6.5 uh, as long. But when I have thicker liners, uh, like a seven liner, a nine liner, and any kind of shaders, I like to turn it up to at least a 5.5, uh, I don't even have to go up to an a 8 on the volume. I used to run the other machine that was an 8, but This is probably by far my favorite machine that I've worked with. And like I said, I've handled a Bishop. I've had, I've handled a Spectre. I had a FK Iron Zion. I really like this out of all of them. It's been the smoothest. 
It's, like I said, it's real easy to get one pass lines. It's such a soft machine. It doesn't hit soft, it's a four stroke. But it, it, even though it, it runs so soft and smooth, it punches the lines in there really good like it needs to. So you really need that, especially for thicker lines. And if you're doing traditional, neo-traditional blackout tattoos, or just packing in some solid black or color, you really want a hard hitting machine. Not too hard, but you really want a machine that can hit. So I'm just gonna let you check out these lines right here. And yeah, it's a good machine, man. I, I rate it like at the top. When I finish this, uh, I'll let you guys see it. Yeah, so the stability and the smoothness of this machine is just uh, so much better than a lot of other machines that I've used. I'll probably adjust the speed a little bit while I'm using thinner liners. I played with different line weights here. A seven round liner, seven round shader, and five round liner. Yeah, this is a great machine. 